Why is it that the name of Buster Ryan or Jay-Z will come to mind and not the name of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it that the name of some boxer or some UFC fighter will come to mind and not the name of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it that the name of Beyonce or Lady Gaga will come to mind and not the name of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it that the name of Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho will come to mind and not the name of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa The best of examples that ever stepped on the face of this earth was none other than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it that the Muslims are ashamed to act upon the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are ashamed to act upon the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa If they are ashamed to grow dreadlocks under the armpits and between their thighs, then why are you ashamed to keep the beard? If they are ashamed to walk half naked on the streets, then why are you ashamed to wear the hijab or the niqab properly? If they are ashamed to commit sin in public, then why are you ashamed to pray salah on the streets? If they are ashamed to jump in the pool naked, then why are you ashamed to do wudu in the toilet sinks? This is who you are. You are the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And do not, do not underestimate Allah's power. Why? Because Allah indeed has tested people before you. Allah has tested the people of the 21st century in foreign countries. People are killed. People are raped. Muslim women are forced to have intercourse with their own sons. Fathers are forced to have intercourse with their own daughters. Their skin have been peeled from their bodies. Don't make Allah test you people in this way. You've got Islam on your plate. You could practice Islam. Hold firm upon the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Obey Allah and obey his messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This is who you are. So what? If we eat with our hands, this is who we are. So what? If we sit down and urinate, this is who we are. So what? If we grow the beard, this is who we are. So why if the Muslim women wear the hijab or the niqab, this is who they are. So why if the Muslim viewers use a stick to brush their teeth, this is who we are. We are Muslims and we are the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And never forget this. Never forget this. I began by saying that if your forefathers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your housing, your dwellings, your merchandise is your business. If anything becomes more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger, I end by saying that if your forefathers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your children, your houses, your dwellings, your merchandise is your business, businesses, if anything becomes more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger, then wait for the punishment of Allah to descend.